very quick review of the Sylvania ZXE high beam headlight model number 905 installed on a 2016 Subaru Forester. So far the biggest problem I've had is getting into the box. So I had to take the wrapper off now. It looks like this will pop off. There are two seals on the side. There are a couple arrows on the base that show that one slides one direction, one slides the other. So that's the trick to it. So that was the trick. This just pivots out and gives you access to the lamps. I'm going to make sure and not touch any of the glass part of these bulbs. So I'll put on gloves to install them. This is a 2016 Super Forester and the high beam will be the inside lamp. This is the low beam. This also serves as the daytime driving light. So I'm curious to see how that functions with this new lamp. This is the passenger side. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it's easier for me to reach around this cowling and then I'll reach inside here and unplug the wiring by. Okay, and then there's a little tab right here that you push and then you can unplug that lamp and now I'll be able to spin it. It's the new lamp. I do have my gloves on now, but I have no intention of touching this lamp. You can't see, but I'm really reaching around and under and then handing myself that new lamp. There we go. Once it's in the right spot, it's easy to turn within reason. Now I can reason the wiring and that's a pretty simple step. Okay. That's the passenger side. It's the one that's a little more difficult because there's limited space to work. Driver's side is very accessible. I'm not going to actually show the installation on the driver's side. It is a lot easier to do than passenger side and uh, I'm just trying to keep the, the Video brief. This will be a side by side comparison. The left side is without the new brights, the right side is with. There's an exterior view. I'm not sure if you can tell, but the, the brights on the uh, right side of the vehicle, left as you're looking at it, are a crisper, whiter light and also much brighter but still within the legal limits. At this point I'm happy. We'll see how long the light holds up and I'll go ahead and change the driver's side now. Kind of a cloudy, wintry day and it's daytime, but that's my driving lights and I've replaced those also and those are the brights or if I just flash the brights. This is a little darker environment, but I think you can tell it's going to light up down the road pretty well. So far the only complaint I have on this new lamp is how difficult it was to get into this packaging. It has these arrows that show which way it slides, but to get it to slide is very tricky. If you notice the ship in the background, I'm building that if you're interested just a quick overview of the Sylvania ZXE. I have a lot of other videos unrelated to this, so if you ever want to check some of them out, just do a YouTube search on Boiler Dan 1 and you'll see the entire list. Again, thanks for watching.